What's up? Hello, and welcome to my video. This is my two months on testosterone, and woo! 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 I hit the I hit the two month mark on August 23rd. So if I went seven years ago and I told myself on August 23rd you're gonna be two months on hormones, I would have just laughed at my face. But nope, here we are, two months on hormones. So let's get into the changes. Let's talk about the physical first, like we did in the previous video, and then we go to the emotional, blah blah, blah how I'm feeling, dear diary, here's how I am. All right. To so the physical, um, start with my head. Like the feeling of my hair feels the same. But I've noticed that it's getting wavy. Um, I used to have wavy hair, but then as I got older, it just got straight and boring and bland. But then after like one and a half months, I've noticed that my hair is just starting to get wavy. I did not know that your hair texture feeling changed I know that no actually how do I explain it like I knew that it was going to ch like change but I didn't know that my hair would go and be wavy again does that make sense so if anyone who is transgender is watching this video let me know if your hair changed and when <laughs> that, th that's it now the real change here is the acne the acne and the acne oh and the oiliness of my face when I went on my first puberty, I did not get this many pimples. Uh, now I am. My pimples right here, and right here, and right here, right here, are horrible. They're tolerable right now because I went to a doctor's appointment two weeks ago, and you know, he asked about the changes, and the blood work, and all of that mumbo jumbo. I told him, the only thing that's changing is the face, and the pimples, and the oiliness. So he prescribed me some medication and it's helping, but I have to put it like every night and if I miss one night, my acne just gets back to being bad. So I don't know what that medication is, but it's helping and I hope it ends soon because I do not like having a pimply face. The fuzziness in my face, the peach fuzz, I feel them a lot more, especially right here. So I guess. It is because of the pimples and the beard and the fuzziness and yeah. But I feel a lot right here. They're not noticeable. Right here, there's like one little tiny noticeable black peach fuzz that if you get super close, you'll see it. Otherwise, you're not gonna see it. Just like my face. You just see like a darker shade here because that's where my fuzzies are coming in that look like a beard and I feel them and it's itchy like crazy. This is itchy and if I make my mouth like in a certain way, maybe like this, they poke me and it hurts. Not hurt, that's a bad word to say. It does not hurt, but I feel them like poking me and it gets itchy and stuff. But they're coming in slowly. You just have to get really close to my face to see it. Um, it's not noticeable. We'll have to wait until next month. Then I'll be like, look, there it is. My arms are getting very more muscular. You can't really see muscle because um, I kind of slacked on the working out. But this is just from ca carrying camera gear. What did I just say? Hey, this muscles, they're from carrying all my camera gear and my backpack and cameras all the time. That's my workout right there. Who needs the gym? Not me, right? Right. Since I started hormones, I've lost six, seven pounds. And it's because I've been drinking a lot of water and trying to watch what I eat because I tend to want to eat a lot and I tell myself no we're not going to keep eating because even if I'm not hungry I just want to keep eating and that's not good because then pimples and stuff I'm more slim on my hips my chest got smaller it's a little noticeable but I don't have to wear layers of shirts and that's a good thing because right now in the summer who wants to wear like 20 shirts underneath right right my belly it's getting a little bit more slim. I need to keep working on it because I have muscle. Like I'm getting the shapes of the muscle, but because I'm not losing the fat, it's just muscly fat. I think I said that in the previous video too. My voice, it's getting lower and I am noticing it. And a lot of people around me are noticing it too. They're like, are you sick? It's like, no, I'm not sick. It's my voice. I'm going through puberty. Hello. Um, it goes low super low sometimes that I scare myself I'm not like used to it yet 
and I'll be talking and then I don't know he's like hello and that's when I get scared I was like oh whoa where did that voice come from but then there's other times where it just kind of like goes back to the high pitch pitchy pitch and it's like oh right that's, that's the voice I have right now gross but I feel more of a echo in my chest too when I talk when my voice gets low it's so weird I don't know it, it's funny but weird and I don't know why it's funny but it's funny to me and weird and cool and happy it makes me happy yeah uh, my belly is getting a little little happy trail as we like to call it and then my legs that is the part that I've noticed has become more hairy the other day I was wearing shorts I looked down and I was like where did this hair come from um, I've always had hairy legs because I didn't shave I was like I don't need to shave my legs um but now huh, the hair is looking darker that's how I'm going to explain it and more noticeable which eh, it's like it's like hair cool my body feels awkward <laughs> that's how I wrote it my body feels awkward and clothes fit differently so my body obviously the fat is moving around my hips are more straight so my pants don't really fit me uh, but I have a belly so my pants don't close I'm trying to lose that belly so that they could close but then they fall down because they got no more hips to hold on to so it's like I need to buy new pants but I am losing weight and if I lose weight then those pants are gonna be too big and then I'm gonna have to buy smaller pants and then I'm gonna have a bajillions of pants and none of them are gonna fit me and I'm just gonna have to be commando. None of my clothes fits me and I don't know what to do. I uh, don't want to buy new clothes because I'm working out and trying to lose weight. But at the same time, nothing fits me because nothing wants to fit me. So I don't know what to do. Let me show you how my body looks. So, as you can see, chest is going down. I'm still fat. Ugh. But my belly used to stick out more. And this shirt used to fit me more tight. It's a little more loose. And then my hips, they're more straight, which is awesome. Woohoo! I don't know, man. I don't know. See? My voice keeps cracking. I didn't say that, but it's cracking a lot. Especially when I have to talk loud or like in loud environments and I have to yell. My voice is just cracking left and right it's so annoying and so embarrassing because then I have friends who point it out and it's like stop <laughs> and know my voice is changing that's the whole point of puberty your voice changes so leave me alone let's talk about the boring part the emotions because that's what's changed the most so I've been feeling a lot of sleepiness um I blame the dog because he likes to wake up at 6 in the morning or 4 in the morning or 5 in the morning and then it takes like an hour and a half to fall back asleep and then I go and take a nap and then it's time for me to wake up to go to work and then he wakes up and then it's a disaster and that makes me frustrated which also adds to how I'm feeling uh, there's a lot of stuff going around me right now that I just I can't stand it's making me super frustrated and I'm trying not to get frustrated but I get frustrated because I'm sleepy and I'm agitated and I'm aggravated and I just have so much junk coming into my life that I don't need but it's just there like smacking me in the face so I have a lot of stuff going on that makes me super frustrated and I have a short temper right now I've noticed that my temper is just super short and I'm trying to relax I mentioned in the previous uh, up testosterone video that I am doing yoga and stuff and working out and working out and doing yoga works and it helps so I'm trying to control my my temper that's what I'm trying to get to mm -hmm, mm -hmm. my anxiety though it has been going good I don't know how to explain this one and I even put anxiety question mark it's there my anxiety is there it's always there but before I started hormones and before a month and a half it was bad and it kind of just stopped being so bad I feel more chill like the other day I was frustrated and I started feeling like I was gonna have a panic attack and an anxiety attack but then I just kind of like stopped it just stopped that's that's the only way I could explain it like 
before I would just start getting really jittery, very shaky, like I need to do something, I don't know what to do. But this time it just, okay, just breathe, distract yourself, count the stars, whatever it is that you need to do, and then it just went away. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain it, I didn't have to take any medication for it, I didn't feel like I needed to punch anyone in the face. Which I have not, but I'm just saying, that's how I feel when I get my anxiety. Um, I just, it just went away, it like stopped. And I also think that I was getting anxious and stuff, cause when I would get my lady days, I would get really anxious. And I was feeling like I wanted to get my days, uh, like two weeks ago. But then it just never came. And I hope it stays that way. I got bloated like crazy, and I was getting cramps. And the doctor said himself, like, you're probably not gonna get it anymore. You're just gonna get, like, the cramps and the bloatiness and the feeling. So I did get the symptoms, like, the anxiety, the bloating, the cramps. But I just took some leave for the cramps and stuff, and it went away. And I don't feel like I'm gonna get my days at all. Which is super good, because I am done with that. Sorry, Mother Nature, but... That's not for me. No, 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 no. The only thing that's been bothering me recently, and I mean, I don't know if I should even be upset about it. Um, I came out to my family through Facebook, long story short, and they all like were supportive. They all texted me, they were all messaging me. They were like, we support you, we love you, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I appreciate, thank you. I am happy for that. And I'm glad because I thought no one would accept me, but they still use female pronouns, and I feel awkward. Like, I don't know if I'm supposed to say something, or if they didn't understand my message correctly when I said I'm transgender and I prefer male pronouns. Only like one or two of them I've noticed have used male pronouns. But aside from that, I'm like in between, they're still calling me she, but they don't know if they should call me he, but they, do and they don't I don't know we're in an awkward spot but I don't like it and it makes me feel frustrated <laughs> and I know I shouldn't because I kind of just threw it to them in their face through Facebook but I did say if you have any questions ask me but no one asked me so I assume no one had questions um, yeah, that's the only thing that's been like on my plate right now that I'm like, ugh, are they really still gonna call me by female pronouns? Eh. But, um, I think they need a little bit more time. Hopefully it gets to that. If not, it's gonna be awkward when they see me with like a mustache and a beard and with a really low voice and they're gonna be like, hey, uh, Matt, hmm? Is that you? <laughs> I don't know. I, I think that's how it's gonna be. But we'll see what happens. Um, that is it. Thank you for watching. I try to keep it short, but it's 20 minutes already. God dang it. I think maybe next month I'll do like a, this is how I sounded and then this is how I sound now. Cause I feel like by three months, my voice is gonna be even more noticeable. So, yep, that is it. If you have any questions or any like, topics that you want me to talk about whether it's about this or anything else in general or any idea that you want me to do whether it's funny or sad or whatever let me know comment it down below because i want to keep making videos i feel the juices of creativity flowing through me and i feel more confident being in the camera again and i want to keep posting so comment down below anything that you want to see and yeah goodbye Ah, I got tangled in a rubber band. Uh, I love you guys. Peace out. Goodbye.